I'm so happy that we're, we're starting the video with your mother, Rabbi Wilhelm. She's schlepping nachas, schlepping? seeing all of your, uh, all of your, 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 your dearest uh, disciples over here, such as uh, and Moshe Cohen. Moshe Cohen. How about your son? Shlita. And I'm Rabbi too famous for this Alicia video. Alicia What's his first name? Menachemendo. Menachemendo. Okay, uh, Ben Sian. First of all, good morning. Are you getting ready for Ishana Rabba? Oh, one second. In terms of getting ready, I'm so happy that like you prepared for this. And yeah, you could see how much you bottle. drank. So you could be ready for this. For Simchas Torah, Torah to share with us. I so want to say... Can't, we can't wait. I want to say a couple of short... short. Are you, are you intoxicated? <laughs> you know, see, what I, see what I deal with? All right. Um, we're about to enter Ishana Rabba. Then there's the two days of Simchas Torah. Shmili Atzeres and Chastorah that the, the Rebbe brings from the free from the previous Rabbeim. You could shep, you could draw tons and tons of brachas and simchas for the rest of the year. Zman Simcha Seinu. Everyone needs a little simcha in their life, a little more simcha in their life. If you get any more closer, you'll see all my white hair. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna show this to the doctor <laughs> right after. Okay, sure I want to read. Okay. I want to read you a, a piece of a letter from the Rebbe because again, I have a lot of uh, friends who call me and say. We want more of the Rebbe stuff. And I will also uh, add some things from other places. But today I read a beautiful letter from the Rebbe in Igris Kodesh Chelek Yudale, that it was the year of Toshin Yud Zayin. Where the Rebbe uh, it speaks about Zman Simchasenu, the Rebbe speaks about how important Simcha is in life. And the Rebbe says, since the Torah says, Ibdu Hashem Simcha, that we have to serve Hashem with Simcha, it says the Rebbe like this, I want to give three points. If the Abishta demands Simcha, so we're sure that the Abishta gave us the energy and the possibilities how to fulfill this. Because Hashem doesn't do tricks with it, doesn't overwhelm us with the impossible. If he demands it, he gave us the, the, the power to do it. So if the Abishta wants Simcha, you could do it. Eat with, withstanding all the ups and downs. Bay, says the Rebbe, even in a situation. Versus, uh, where uh, it is, uh, uh, when you have, even, I feel in the Azar Matziv, it's for that, even if somebody's in a situation where it's difficult, you must find a Simcha, you have to find a way. You don't have to shut your eyes, you have to find ways to find Simcha in every part of your life. And then the Alter Rebbe, then the Rebbe says, Especially if you learn in Tanya, Perik Chavav, you learn that without Simcha, you'll never win the war. When people go to war, uh, they, uh, it's known that a soldier, he brings from the from the Frieden Gereb, they're, they're saying that the soldiers, when they go out to war, that even before, as they're entering the war, who knows what's going to be, they go out with a march. Because when you go with a, with a song of victory, it, it creates an adrenaline to fight everything. Once you lose your mood, once you're in depressed, you know what the press people look like, right? So we can't. <laughs> you asked. So, uh, so now it's Man Simcha saying this is a time where we have to draw all this. You know, I saw a story. Everybody knows the famous Magid Rabbi Yaakov Galinsky. I didn't know till I read this that he his brother-in-law was the famous Lubavitcher Chassid, Rabbi uh, uh, Astulin, Zalman Astulin. I think his name was Zalman, Rabbi Zalman Astulin. A very well-known Chassid had. A terrible Yisurim in Russia came out on, on, on crutches. Anyway, so he, he writes in his book. In his book, Rabbi Yaakov Galinsky, who's not a chassid, writes a story that his brother-in-law, Rabbi Zalman Astolin, was in Israel. And he went to, because he, he wasn't so mobile, he went to visit him from time to time. And he told him, you know, right downstairs, right down here is the famous Letterman Shul. Letterman Shul is like a, a shul where every five minutes there's another minion, 15 minutes, uh, he heard such a phenomenon. He came from Russia. A minion was a was a thing you had once in the blue moon over here. All right. So he, he went down to see the he went down to see the minion. And Rabbi Yaakov Galinsky says, I, "Okay, I'm waiting and waiting, waiting for him to come. Waiting, 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 waiting." And the guy doesn't show up. So he went searching for him. He thought maybe he got lost. He he went to the shul, and sure enough, he sees him there. He says, "Rab Zalman, what are you doing here? You're here for hours. I'm waiting for you. Let's eat the meal." He says, do you realize what you got? What kind of gold mine you have here? How many umming you have here? How many umming do you have here? How many barkus you have here? 
Well, I'm going to leave. This is what brought him happiness. A man in crutches, a man in crutches, but he couldn't get away. What brought him zest and and and, and oomph and life was another Amin Yehishim That's what brought, brought him excitement. By the way, it's not. This is not what brings people excitement. This is what brings, makes you fat. That doesn't make people excited, but this is actually pretty exciting. <laughs> That was pretty good, actually. <laughs> no, but but what makes you excite, excited? This is, this is pretty exciting. Okay, what also. makes you what ma makes people happy is another Amiyeshi Madaba. Now I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you one more pinch pinch of uh, spice to this. Please do. For for Ellie Rosenfeld in, the, in the Florida because he wants. I saw I dove in here in the Alabama show. They had the, the Svarim Kedusha Sian that's from Babiv, and I saw a phenomenal vort there. You know, we're going to, we, by, on uh, Simcha's Torah, we're going to say, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazak. We're going to finish the Torah. We're going to make a scene and we're going to finish the Torah. What does Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazak mean? Be strong, be strong, and we'll be strong. Who am I talking to when, when I'm saying Chazak, Chazak, Venis, Venis Chazak means, okay, I'll be, we'll become strong, I'll be strong. But what am I telling you, Chazak, Chazak? How does that, what, 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 what's going on in that statement? So he says a very beautiful thing. He says that we know, we know that in Torah and in Tefillah and in Tzedakah, when you help somebody else, you benefit first. For example, it says, by Tefillah, by Davening, it says, if you pray on behalf of somebody else, even though you need, if you need something and you pray on behalf of somebody else, you'll get answered in your Tefillah. By helping somebody else, your prayer gets answered. By Torah, it says the same thing. What does it say by Torah? Kala malam, is ben chaveri Torah, kilu yoldoi. If you teach somebody else Torah, it's as if you gave birth to him. He's your child. And by, by Tzedakah, it says the same thing. You give Tzedakah, Hashem rewards you. So by helping others, that makes that, that get, makes you better in Torah, tefillah and Tzedakah. He says the same thing is with Chizuk. You need Chizuk. You're down. You're missing something. You're, you need some zest. Chazak, you tell somebody, be, 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 be freilach, be, strengthen yourself. And when you get stronger, venis chazek, that will help me to become stronger. And this is what we, what, 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 what uh, Simchas Torah is all about. We all celebrate together. I make you happy and you'll make me happy. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. It's great. You heard it here first. And Reb, <coughs> Reb Nachman Wilhelm's Sukkas. Of Nachman Wilhelm Nafellas. <laughs>